Hey everybody, this is Carlo Wine with another slideshow. This is ERE 383 number 116. It's for Maverick. And what I'm using here is a, a custom Ross piston. I had about six sets of these made many years ago. It's modeled after the standard Molly flat top with just about the crown is 0.1 thicker. And they're um, 1.5 millimeter top ring, 1.5 millimeter second ring, 3 millimeter oil control ring. So here I'm, uh, I'm just putting rod piston combo together. Now to the short block. Validate that the oil galley steel ball is in place before I put the main cap on. That's a quality assurance picture for me. And then the crankshaft is an Eagle crankshaft. I'm getting the serial number there. Notice it's, what, 1758 Bob weight. Miking the mains here. So I'm gonna do the main cap and the bearing insulation. I shoot for like 0 0.0025 and or even bigger clearance. So I, I start with the X 0 0.001 over main bearings and that worked out. So uh, two, three, four, five all took X bearings. And then the, the number one cap took a combination of zero and, and X. All right, now that's the uh, connecting rod. Uh, I validate that the stretch at 0 0.005 is 75 foot-pounds. And so I do all the rest at 75 foot-pounds. I don't stretch gauge check every single one. It's just a validation. Also, double checking because it, it requires 0 0.004 piston to wall clearance and that's a 0 0.004 feeler gauge. So it fits in there nicely. Getting the block ready. Actually, this is kind of a mock-up because I need to make sure all the rods clear and bottom of the block. And I haven't put the camshaft bearings in yet either because if they don't, I'm going to have to take it all apart and grind it. But luckily the, uh, the rod's clear, so I didn't have to do any extra grinding. That is not usual. Usually I always have to grind a little extra. So everything's in um, validated that I didn't have to grind, so I put the camshaft bearings in and cleaned up the camshaft, brand new camshaft. This was kind of an off the shelf from Summit and uh, the cam specs, that'll be later in the slideshow. Put the galley plugs in there and the cam is in and now it's time to uh, fully assemble the short block. So I'm doing the ring gap, gapping for future nitrous and it'll still run fine, all natural with a little bit more gap. It is a uh, Molly rings and it's brand Molly. The top ring is steel, the second ring is a Napier, and standard tension for the oil rings. All right, so the Hoche uh, rods and pistons are all installed and rod side clearance is 20 thou. The rear main seal housing's getting put in there, centered. Then the seal. And time to do the uh, degree of the camshaft. So first off, all the pistons, I measured them and they're from six to eight thousandths in the hole. Then I degreed the camshaft. There's the specs right there. And right off the bat, the first check, it was right on 109 intake center line. So I save doing the blue Loctite on the cam bolts until after I do the degree. So that was a picture there for that. And the cylinder heads being the trick flow from Lloyd Elliott, they're 65 cc. I knew that by default, but I did validate that. So I got 64 and a half which is probably my error because the, uh, the grease, when you put it on the plate to the CC procedure, that grease sometimes, I think it takes up some volume. So 
Anyway, I'm putting on Mavericks. Um, he's got a used ATI damper with a 24X, the torque head reluctor on it. It's got a brand new torque head sensing unit. Uh, his timing cover put that all on and called it a night. That is it for today. Check later because I'm going to finish this motor and get it to the dyno. In the meantime, enjoy some more of the flaming acetone rag debacle. Carlo, I know on engines. Take care. <laughs>